A year and a half, here we are into the pandemic, and we're still seeing long-term impacts of COVID-19. Turns out many people notice brain fog months after recovering from the virus. Stephanie Whitfield taking a closer look at a new study that finds evidence of brain damage even in mild cases. I got COVID back in early December. Um, Craig Levati says COVID-19 wasn't fun, but physically he got over it pretty quickly. His brain is a different story. Harder. The first few weeks after I had COVID, I remember being really angry with myself if I couldn't just finish a sentence. Because sometimes I would be, I would just kind of trail off and go like that. And I couldn't remember what a chair was called. That brain fog has been around ever since. Have you been seeing a lot of people who had COVID come to you with neurological issues afterwards? Uh, yes. Dr. Louise McCulloch treats neurological patients at the UT Physicians Post COVID-19 Clinic. We're following about 700 patients here at McGovern. And we've looked and found dramatic increases in brain injury markers in the blood of patients with COVID. A study done in the UK has found something similar. Researchers had brain scans from over 700 patients in their early 60s, which were done before the pandemic. They did second MRIs after. The 394 people who had the virus had more brain atrophy or shrinkage in parts of the brain that control taste, smell, and memory. Most of those COVID cases were mild. Is it going to increase Alzheimer's rates or dementia rates, even in people who are very mildly affected? And that's something that could be a major public health crisis, you know, 20 years from now. She feels it's critical more research is done on this long hauler symptom. Long haul is a good word for it. It's a long haul. And it makes me feel good and bad that also now we sort of have some science behind it. It's just, it's, um, see, now I'm doing it again. I can't think of the words. If doctors can figure out why COVID-19 is causing chronic effects on the brain, hopefully they can find ways to help. There's people out there who are also struggling for words. There are also people out there who are struggling to finish puzzles after COVID, and you're not alone. Stephanie Whitfield, KHOU 11 News.